Hello, my name is Todd Bigelow. I'm a freelance photographer based in Los Angeles for the last 30 years, working with editorial, corporate, and nonprofit clients. I'm an adjunct professor of photography and photojournalism, workshop founder, and author of The Freelance Photographer's Guide to Success, Business Essentials. This is just a short video series where I talk about business topics for freelance photographers. Hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, good to see you. Let's jump right into it. Um, I wanna tailor this uh, short conversation um, to revolve around the beginning of a new uh, college year, a new semester. Um, for some of you, hopefully, if you're watching this, maybe this is the beginning of your photographic education, whether that's going to be in general photography, art photography, fine art photography, or photojournalism. Okay, so um, as a part-time adjunct professor for many years, teaching photojournalism and on the uh, photography side, a studio lighting class, among others, um, I, wa I want to kind of bring up a few points that I think can really help young photographers as they're beginning their career with their education, okay? There was a really interesting study yesterday uh, that was published in the New York Times, um, and it dealt with the cost of education. I've already touched on this in some other videos, so I'm not going to go deep into it, um, but I do want to bring out the main point. Okay, so it was kind of evaluating uh, what's called a return on investment and very specific to uh, university programs, your, your education, your major. Okay, so no surprise that art, visual arts, photography, those majors have a, a fairly low, if non-existent, in fact, 47% of uh, the programs that were evaluated um, provided a what they call no return on investment. So there was no uh, earnings premium for those that graduated with those degrees over those that had no degrees in visual arts or photography. Okay, so again, without going too far into it, I bring it up only now because um, you have to be careful how much money you do spend on your education. Okay, so the better return on investments, according to the study in the New York Times yesterday, which was August 19th, um, a report, the Times did not do the report, it was, they were reporting on a study by a nonprofit. Um, you know, go, go read it yourself, but just pay attention to the fact that public university institutions, because it costs less, generally give you a better return on investment over time. There are exceptions, of course, but just keep how much you spend on your education in mind. Um, I do believe in higher education. Uh, I just also believe in making sound financial investments. Okay, so a couple things that you can do as a student, okay? First and foremost, and this may seem, seem obvious, uh, maybe uh, your parents have told you this, um, get to know your professors. It is literally where your networking will begin. Hopefully, your program has a wide range of professors, those that have been there for many years, new adjuncts that are working in the field. Um, you're going to hopefully be able to tap into those contacts if you're um, spending time getting to know your professors, not only by participating in class, but by visiting them in their office hours. I can't tell you how many times I've held office hours uh, probably 80% of the time and nobody drops by. Come by, chat, you know, sit down, talk to me about my profession, talk to me about what I've experienced. Uh, let me give you some insight. I'm, that's what I'm there to do. I'm, I'm there to share uh, my experiences and, and probably help you along the way. So if you don't take advantage of that, um, you're already kind of beginning your career uh, and leaving some real opportunities on the table. So visit your professors in their office hours. Get to know them. Participate in class. Okay, again, fairly obvious, right? But again, I can tell you that I look at a lot of blank faces when they're in class sometimes. I look at people that I understand they're long days and sometimes it's difficult at the end of the day, maybe a night class to, to stay focused, but you know, this is something you're paying for. This is something that hopefully you're, you're going to go into and make a career of it. So you definitely want to take the time to participate, be active, ask questions, 
Um, get engaged, okay? This is this should be an exciting time in your life for you to learn. So, and that learning process should be um, hopefully good. Not every class is going to be extremely uh, invigorating. I can guarantee you that. I understand how I went to college and I teach, so I understand not every class is going to be the same, but try your best to get as active and involved as possible. Professors notice that. Um, when I pass along jobs that come through the university and they get filtered to me, um, I, of course, always pass those opportunities on to those that not only I think can shoot the job, but have earned that right to get that opportunity. Okay. And I, you know, that's generally how it works. Okay. So, so show that interest, show that desire, and hopefully good things will come of it. Internships, never too late to think about an internship, never too early to think about an internship. So wherever you are, whether you're beginning your collegiate experience or you're near the end, get internships, okay? I can't stress that enough. Tap your professors for their contacts. Go to your university program intern coordinator, hopefully. Um, speak to the chair of the department. Anybody that might be able to help you along. Then you're also going to do your own research. You reach out to various studios and, and, and community newspapers and any place where you think there might be an opportunity for you to get some real working experience. And hopefully those will be paid. Okay. So, um, my son who did not study photography had a opportunity as, uh, to enter an internship class as a senior at San Diego State. But I wanted him to start when he was a freshman. So he went out and found internships on his own for three years before he even got into the internship class and then got internships through the university. So by the time he graduated, he had four or five internships and that was uh, very beneficial to him. Okay. So hustle on your own, but also tap those uh, opportunities that might come through the university. Get involved with this campus newspaper. Even if you're on the art side and you're doing studio photography or something, it's a great learning experience. For photojournalism majors, obviously. Okay, so get involved. Go talk to the you know, campus photo editor, the newspaper photo editor, and say, you know, maybe you're not in the class, but if you ever need something, uh, you know, covered, um, please feel free to shoot me a text and I'd be happy to go cover it, whether it's a sporting event or a, or a meeting or some sort of campus-wide uh, event, um, some, some, you know, protesting or demonstrating or anything like that, that you can get that experience, okay? So get involved with your campus newspaper if you can, okay? So there's a few things that I think that you can do to just keep you know, the process going through through your collegiate experience while you're getting your degree so that when you get to the end and you're graduating, um, you have more than just a series of classes and a certificate, a degree, okay, which is nothing to make light of. It's congratulations if you've gotten one and if you're about to get one and, you know, kudos to you working through the process to get one. Um, but Ultimately, it's going to be your work that's going to get you to where you need to be as a photographer. So take advantage of these things that we talked about today so that you can um, get out on the other side uh, and into the field, um, get out to the other side of the stage, so to speak, and, and into the field and use the skills that you learn uh, while you're being educated, okay? So if you're beginning this semester, um, you're getting ready to get into classes. Um, I hope you have a great semester. I hope it's better than the last year during the pandemic. Um, get your camera out there, get shooting, and good luck. Stop back by for more business tips um, in a couple of weeks, okay? Thanks.